The Army ROTC at Carson Newman University has a new person in charge. She's a graduate of the school and its Army program. Our own Don Dare, a Vietnam veteran, says Francis Young is a proven leader. Oh, well, my first one that I ever got uh, right here, Carson Newman. This is the Carson Newman Eagle Battalion coin. Lieutenant Colonel Francis Young, an Army nurse, has come a long way since first receiving this military challenge coin in 2003 as a first-year ROTC cadet. Army ROTC has been offered at Carson Newman since 1971. It's never had a female officer in charge until now. The typical day for our PT would be we get up around 0530. That's Francis as a junior in 2006 describing what it's like for those enrolled in the program. As the daughter of a retired Army Sergeant First Class, the Jefferson County High School graduate was the first in her family to go to college and as long as she can remember, she wanted to be an Army nurse felt a calling, if you will, that that's where my path needed to go. And as I started to pursue what it meant to be an Army nurse, it's different than just being a nurse. Um, I'm proud to say I'm an Army nurse and take care of America's sons and daughters. As Carson Newman's professor of military science, Lieutenant Colonel Young and her staff are responsible for the cadets under her command. Our officers that are commissioned through ROTC are going to be placed as new second lieutenants in charge of 30, perhaps 40 people, where they're responsible for those soldiers. I believe I'm a transformational servant leader. Um, I try to challenge them and, and harness the strengths that are unique to them. I believe that each person is created with a unique set of talents and gifts. Her two children, husband and mom, pinned the rank of lieutenant colonel onto her uniform at her promotion ceremony in September. Her father in his uniform presented the first salute to the new lieutenant colonel. And her husband, Major James Young, they met at Carson Newman as cadets, also presented a sharp salute. I believe that things happened for a reason and I was truly blessed and fortunate to be able to get to come back. She returned to Carson Newman and won the appointment due to her leadership abilities. Airborne and air assault trained, she also wears the expert field medical badge. I love the Army, I love what we stand for, I love the military in general, and I love the ability to be able to work with such a diverse group of expert professionals. Here at Carson Newman, faith is a big part of this university. Faith has been translated into your Army career? Yes, sir. Being in the Army is a servant leader anyway. Um, and so Carson Newman's mission here is to create worldwide servant leaders. I feel like I've been able to really blend my faith with my practice as a leader. As a leader, she has a collage of pictures filled with memories of her career. This is a photo of me uh, after, during the height of COVID. Today, Lieutenant Colonel Young's future is bright. Mm -hmm. Oh, Dom, what an mm -hmm. impressive woman. And I counted, she said servant leader yeah. four times. Yeah, she is That's, that indeed. She yes. has been for a long time. You know, she not only has her master's degree, she's halfway through earning her PhD. And following in her footsteps are some ROTC cadets at Carson Newman who plan on becoming Army nurses watching her. Exactly. Don, thank you so much. What a story.